everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia for those who are tuning in and welcome back to everybody else. In this video, I'm going to be doing a demo and review first impression on this guy here. This is the Pixie Beauties in collaboration with Whaley Hong. She is a fellow YouTuber and I believe this came out, I think early this year or I want to say maybe late last year. I forget when. It was not that long ago but it was pretty recent too. I went to a few of my local targets and of course I couldn't find any. Stumbled across this when I was at another target outside my area and I was like I need to get this because I really want to try this. I've never tried any of the Pixie Beauty eyeshadows so I'm actually really excited to try these. Before I get into the demo and review on this, Stick around to the end because I am going to be doing a back to school giveaway! I know I'm a little late in the game because I know this school year people are attending school mid-August which is probably about now or mid or early September. I want to do this little quick small giveaway for you guys because I appreciate you guys for tuning in and supporting my channel. So as always I'm going to give you all the simple rules to this giveaway at the end of the video so stick around. be doing a demo and review of first impressions on this Pixie Beauties in collaboration with Whaley Hong. Some of you guys may have seen her. She has a YouTube channel here. She also has a vlog with her man. You guys know I'm a big fan of Pixie Beauties. They're vegan, cruelty free. They don't test on animals. They just have amazing products. It's just really natural products wise and colors and it's just kind of up my alley with the color scheme. So with today's video, I'm so excited because Whaley Hong, which is another fellow YouTuber, in the Asian community. She's also a Bay Area native. She has a vlog channel. I'll put her link down below for you guys if you guys are interested. She did a collaboration with Pixie Beauty. This product here actually has been out for quite some time. It actually has been out of stock in most of my targets near me. Not all the targets carry Pixie Beauty by the way. So I actually stumbled across this by accident because I went to another target way out of my area and I was like of course I'm gonna check out the beauty area and I was like oh they have a Pixie section. And I was looking at around see what they have what I usually replenish from her line is the rose water spray like a elixir kind of refreshing spray I actually talked about that I believe my first year of YouTube which I really love so I was actually looking for that spray and I was like huh they have one of these in stock so I was like I'm gonna grab one of these and kid you not this was actually the last one so I was like you know what it is meant to be <laughs> in this package it's gonna be a six palette eyeshadow with a dual ended eyeliner so I'm so excited to swatch these and try them out the color scheme is really up my alley so let's just see how this goes this is how the package looks like really pretty simple cute traditional pink and that green with Pixie and on the back it has a picture of Whaley, her handles here and just a little description of this palette. Before I open this and do a demo and review, let's go ahead and read a little bit about this on the Pixie's website. This is the Pixie Beauty in collaboration with Whaley Hong. Pixie and Whaley Hong, known for her girl talk and lifestyle videos, have created the Dimensional Eye Creator Kit to illuminate, define and add depth to the eyes. This must have looks perfect on all eye shapes and sizes with pigment rich eyeshadows in a portable palette complemented by a 2 in 1 eyeliner duel. On the website, it actually says that this value is at $20. I got this at Target for $18. Score! So she created these colors, therefore, if you have a mono or even hooded eye shapes, I guess that these colors will complement the eyes, kind of giving illusion of a larger eye shape, which she actually has kind of like a mono and hooded eye shape. So I believe this will be a great demo for me because I kind of have half and half and half. I don't know, like a little bit of crease, but not really, but it's hooded, but it's not, you know? So let's just see how this goes. In this palette, there are six eyeshadows, three shimmery and three mattes. And the liner has a coal penciled eyeliner and the other end is a felted liquid liner. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. So it's just a traditional plastic box. It has a no other instruction. It just comes in a plastic little case with the shadow and eyeliner. This is how it looks like. It's not too thick, it's easy to travel with. It's very small, just fits in the palm of my hand. This liner is a little bit long, but again, I'm hoping that because there's two products in there, there's gonna be a lot of product in here itself. This is actually my first time owning a 
pixie products so I can't really compare this to other palettes that they offer but so far it's a pretty cool case I like how it's transparent like that yeah it's very simple very light how the eyeshadows look like very neutrals which I like and then the back is just the names of the color so let's go ahead and do some swatching. I believe it starts from here across and it reads just like that. So the first color here is called Girl. Let's see how pigmented this is. Ooh, Girl. It's really pigmented. This color here is called Sista. She does like to say that a lot. It's a matte color. The names of these are so cute because it's literally what she always says, so it really does suit her very well. So this color here is called Beautis. This is one of the darkest colors here in the palette. It has a really gray, mauve tone to it, huh? Ooh, it has a nice sheen to it. So far, it's sheen, matte, sheen. So let's go with the color Itty Bitty. Ooh, that's a pretty sheen color too. So this is more white and that's more pinky. Looks a bit crumbly, you see that? I don't know if I dug my finger in that too much, but you can see it's a little bit more flaky compared to that one. Potato! Only because I know she likes eating a lot of french fries. So here is the matte color of potato. That's a nice transition shade. It's very light, taupey. No, it's kind of a light, light terracotta. And the last color on the bottom here is Bomb. Ooh. Well, that's a bomb color. You know, I don't know if it's because the way how my hand is like straight or it just wasn't I don't think my hand was nicely flat, but now you can see it's not streaky at all. Let me try these colors again. Yeah, once you blend them out, they're very soft. Those highlight colors though, they're just beaming off of my hand. So let's move on to the liner. This is a coal pencil. It doesn't say if it's waterproof or not. traditional coal pencil it's retractable I smudged it and it stays on so I guess it's waterproof the other side is a traditional felt tip Ooh, that's very black I'm looking at it to see if it's gonna feather and it's not so I'm just gonna do a quick light wipe Not too bad, that's without primer. Let's just see how it goes onto my eyes. I was looking at this, I was like, wait, there's no mirror. Anyways, I'm going to start with the color Sista. Let's just see how well it picks up. So far there's a little bit of powderiness. I mean, everything is gonna be powdery. Let's just see how it applies on. I apologize for the red skin around here. I was literally tweezing some little hairs that shouldn't be there. I always use these transition shades first in these types of tones because I, again, don't have that deep set eye crease. A lot of times when I do this type of technique, it kind of defines my crease a little bit, giving illusion of a deeper eye set, especially with this shade. So I'm glad she actually has a color like this because this is something I do on myself as well. Another good thing about this shade range is that it actually works well and it's soft enough for our complexion. I'm not sure if we're the exact same shade. I am kind of like a medium golden, not too tan, but not too light. So I'm kind of like in that same range as her. So again, using these colors from her palette, it's something familiar to me because I actually use colors like this on myself. So far, I love the shade. You can definitely build with this, which is really great. So now I'm gonna go in with the color Potato. This is a little bit warmer, taupey color. And I'm just going to define the same area of that crease that I applied the first color onto. I just wanna warm up the outer V area of my eye and just kind of slowly bring it into the center of my eye. 
So far, I don't feel any discomfort or any allergic reactions onto my skin, which is really nice. I'm gonna go in with the color Beautis. This does have a slight sheen to it, but I'm just going to focus it on the outer part of the crease. So I have a little bit of dimension and transition of the shades. This is a really nice color. It's kind of like a taupey brown. I don't know how to explain it. Kind of like a pewter-ish. So far, I don't see too much of pigment on the outer corner there. So I'm gonna define it a little bit more and build it. I feel like I may need to use my finger to dab on that color. As you can see, it has more color on this side versus that. So I'm gonna go for the color Itty Bitty and again, I'm just gonna use my finger because I feel like this is so creamy and it does have a little bit of some chunks to it that I'm afraid that's gonna have a lot of fallout. So the little pieces that were kind of like coming off, I'm literally just pressing it back in there to get more color on my finger. Oh yeah, you see that? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So yes, it's so pigmented. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try to get a little closer. There's some like fallouts here. I feel like only because this type of eyeshadow has like similar to like the Crush Pearl pigments like Huda or Natasha Denota has. It's like satin but creamy but flaky at the same time. I mean, I did put eyelid primer. So I'm gonna try it one more time and just kind of dab it in that area. So it should adhere pretty well, but there are a, a slight amount of fallout, which is not a big deal. I really do love the pigment and intensity this has, which is really nice. You can see a little bit of a texture forming right there. Yeah. That's definitely fallout. So the fallouts that I had did leave a little bit of white streaks everywhere. Um, don't really like that, so I gotta wipe that off. It cleaned it very well, which is good. Some shadows does not even come off and you literally like have to wash your face again, so thank you. And this is why I like to do my eyeshadows first before complexion, just because sometimes the shadows are very pretty but pigmented and they just fall out everywhere and I don't have time to wash my whole face again and start over. I'm just gonna go back to the color potato and I'm just going to warm up the crease area a slight bit. Ugh. So although I did do some crease colors right above that, I did get a little bit more fallouts again. So it's like, eh. maybe for that shadow, I have to really use glitter glue or something. I'm gonna use the eyeliner. I hardly do eyeliner nowadays just because I feel like sometimes when I wear shadows and I don't wear eyeliner, it makes my eyes bigger. For the sake of this video, we're gonna test these out and see how this goes. Ooh, it's very, very black. I am basically just lining my lash line very lightly and thin right across my lash line. My eyelids are different shapes. So this side has to be a little bit thicker, whereas this side has to be super thin. So if you look at my eyes, this one extends out more as this side is a little bit more rounded. So when I do eyeliner, this side has to be really thin because it kind of picks up a little bit on that hooded area here. Very tricky. So now I'm gonna use a cold pencil to tight line. So I'm gonna use these two for mascara to really build it and see how full this looks. I normally will wear false lashes, but I wanna see how this 
really makes my eyes a bit larger looking with the shadows and techniques. And if I need to, then I'll go ahead and jump on with some lashes, but I'm just gonna start off with this first and see how this goes. All right, guys, this is my final look. I feel like these colors are very soft, very neutral. Like I mentioned, these are the colors I'm familiar with and I'm comfortable with when I'm applying onto my crease areas to really give an illusion of a larger eye shape and just really enhancing what I have. Again, this is just something I wanted to try. I haven't tried any eyeshadows with Pixie. And of course, I'm gonna support my Asian fellow YouTuber, Whaley here. Now, I normally wouldn't wear like this color lips. I don't wanna go with anything nude or just kind of basic like I normally did. So for this video, I wanted a little bit of color. It does give her a nice, fresh, dewy kind of summer glow. And now again, this is just my opinion. I don't think like this palette totally stands out. It is a great color combination choice for someone who's looking for a natural look, just really soft but buildable. Because if you really want something that's more loud and crazy, you can always add to it or maybe find another palette that has a variety of colors. I do like the background story of this brand and what Whaley does. She's a really cool down to earth chick. So I thought, you know, let's go ahead and support one another here. However, I do love the history of Pixie and Whaley just collaborating with them and just kind of working working on a palette like this because this may work out for someone like yourself who's looking for something small, affordable, and just the basic complementary colors that may work with you. The eyeliner was really cool. I'm not a really big eyeliner person. As you guys know on my channel, I don't really use it as much unless if I'm doing like a dramatic look. I do like the fact that it is a felt tip pen on one side and the other side is a coal liner. Actually, I forgot to tight line my water liner on the bottom, so let me do that. I typically, again, don't like to do eyeliner top and bottom. It's just, I feel like sometimes when I do the bottom, it just closes my eyes a bit, especially that I don't have a lot of lashes. Overall, this is a really great dual product for anyone who's looking for a nice, small, compact, travel size friendly eyeshadow kits with neutral colors. I do like them. I just disliked how that one was a little bit crumbly and it just fell out and got a little messy. Still gonna try it one more time, maybe with glitter glue or something where it just really sticks and it just doesn't fall out. Just because I dislike that one shadow, it's not gonna stop me from buying Pixie Beauty because again, I do love her products. And if she does collaborate with another YouTuber and I find the colors are cool or a new product, you know I'll be for sure doing another demo and review. So once again, if you guys are interested on these products, I'll go ahead and link everything down in the info box for you guys. So the moment you guys been waiting for, the end of the video, because you guys want to know the back to school giveaway that I have to offer. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning into my channel, maybe stumbling across it for the first time, or maybe you guys are the loyal viewers who always tunes in at the end of the month because, as always, I have been posting my monthly favorites at the end of each month. This video is clearly a back to school giveaway. So basically, this is just a notebook. There's nothing in here. It's just blank pages, but I thought it'd be kind of cool for you guys to write some daily, monthly, yearly goals, some inspiration notes to yourself, positive things, maybe homework assignments, or things you just want to remind yourself to do. And of course, you can't write it without my favorite gel pens. These are like the gel rollers and I like the colors that they offer here. You're attending school for about eight hours, right? A lot of times you don't have time to wash your face, you have PE class, you just want to freshen up. I wanted to add these brand new Sephora Collection Papaya Wipes. These are really nice because they're exfoliating. Maybe you had a good workout or a long run and you kind of smell. <laughs> I thought this will be great and it's a great refresher because it smells like papaya. In addition to that scent, so this is my ultimate favorite watermelon lemonade. It reminds me of summer all year long, which I like. You guys know fall is my favorite time of year. I just love the warmth, the pumpkin spice lattes. It's just another reminder that Thanksgiving and winter, which is Christmas. So of course, I'm gonna throw in my favorite warm palette, which is the Urban Decay Heat. This is a small one. It's easy to travel with. It's matte colors and a sheen color. So I think this is gonna be a perfect fit in your makeup bag. Last favorite I'm adding in here is a lip balm by Sephora Collection and this is the almond scent. There you have it guys. This is my small little back to school little giveaway. If you guys are interested on this giveaway, there's just a few easy rules. As always, subscribe to my channel. Two, you want to like this video. 
And three, comment below your favorite subjects from school. Just because I was talking about PE, it just really got me thinking what subjects I really liked because it was the most active. I didn't really like to run a lot, but I kind of liked being outdoors and just socializing with friends and bonding and playing sports, which is kind of cool. So there you have it. That's my back to school giveaway for this video. So once again, I'll link everything down from the products I use from the Pixie Whaley's collaboration in the info box below, along with the easy entries for this back to school giveaway. Thanks again for tuning into my channel. I appreciate the love and support. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!